Guys, if you're just joining us, this is Level BS 32 for 32 Trifecta event, an event on PS4, PC, and Xbox One. This is the PC uh, a version of 32 vs. 32. This is on Sunken Dragon Round Two, Conquest Large, two teams, Gold versus Black. We just saw uh, we just saw Team uh, uh, Team Gold win, right? No, we saw we saw Team Black win. Yeah, no. Team Black. We, and how much did they win by? Two hundred forty, I believe, or two hundred thirty, somewhere around there. Two hundred something like that. So two so two forty, and then. And but now they switch sides, lose the side now. Whoa! A mobility hit in favor uh, against who? Against uh. Oh hey, you Kev, did you see that thing fly right in front of there? I did oh, not. Oh. Let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna look right now. Here's one. This is I be lucky using the air burst. If he can actually do a little left turn, he may be able to hit it. Oh, I think he may have a chance here. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Oh, big hit, big hit, big it's hit. On a 19. He's in trouble. That was cool. Will we see more? Cole Hagen, calm, cool, and collected here, though, guys. Gets a heat seeker out. It's gonna get back in cover. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not familiar with Cole Hagen, but I'm very impressed with his flying skills. Yeah, I have I to be too. honest. As a pilot myself, uh, guy's very good. Very. Good. One thing you'll notice about a lot of these guys is, is patience. Uh, they know when to when to fall back. They know when to push, and that that's really what makes the difference when people can take you out so fast oh. uh, with, the, with the skills that they have. Colossal Cloud actually just got run over by um, by an ATV. Oh, you know what? He's probably saying, "Job turkey." I'm gonna go to uh, Mitch 3K. He is in the UK yet again. I'm gonna try to fall in free cam. Where is it going? Oh, okay. huge play here. <laughs> huge play here by Kohagen. He shot both reppers out. There's a possibility that if he gets this guy out of the uh, little bird, that he can actually steal it, guys. He does get a vehicle hit. Go in a free cam. And that's oh. it. Ooh, Whoa! Was that what was that? What was that? It had to be a UCAV. It had to be. It had to be a UCAV, right? Unfortunately. I don't see it in the kill feed. No, I don't either, but unfortunately, guys, the, the ceiling on this map is real low, so I can't get a better angle. Apologies. Hey, now I can do it better. Yeah, cool. and, and cool. that kind of makes it uh, easy pickings, too, because when you're in that, that flight ceiling, it's almost like you're in mud. Yeah. That's probably why they're getting hit so much, guys. I'm looking at Inca right now. Inca on Echo. Inca on Team Black. It's really important. And it... It's really important that, that that red hold Echo and Delta. It's super important. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You don't want to get back capped, especially on this map. And they had a great breakout, too. If you notice, they took Bravo right off the bat, and they still have a huge presence on there. And slowly making their way towards Charlie. They just need to clear out Delta. But again, a sneaky, sneaky squad. That's CFC going to go all the way into the back and put a spawn beacon. I don't think anyone will find that. And they take out, oh, they just took out the LAV. This is huge. I think they're going to be able to rotate here to Echo. I'll let you know if they get there. Yes, going to Spoon, using the UAV again. Oh, he does see one. Is he going to kill this guy? Oh, he's trying to, <laughs> whoever, whoever uh, who he tried to go after shot the UAV out of the air before it could hit him. That's awesome. Going to who, though? And it, it, looks, it looks like, actually, uh, CFC did make it to Echo. And here comes Spawns. There's going to be a decent fight here on Echo for that back flag. Going to uh, Cole Hagen, no longer in the the uh, helicopter, but instead try to push on Bravo. And uh, actually doing a real good job taking it back, or trying to take it back. I mean, he's he's kind of lone rangering it, but that's okay. As long as he's sort of pestering, it'll be fine. Does, oh, does take out no one. Oh, Cole Hagen. No. But I have to, you have to, you have to head it up to uh, Team Gold right now. Do you notice this? Uh, yeah, they, they, they don't have Alpha, but they've taken Echo, Delta, and Charlie, and only Bravo at the same time. They're actually winning here, despite being on the, on the, on the harder side. Yeah, but it's still a great move by, uh, like I said, BFC 7000 is just 
he's he's the captain of being annoying. He's the captain of back back having. You'll see him do it constantly, over and over. But yeah, the great uh Great move by uh, the U.S. side to take uh, all three inside flags. Yeah, that, that that's a really big deal. And going to Spoon again, he is going to try to go after some more Suev uh, road kills. Does not, I don't know how effective that is, but clearly it's you know, not completely effective. Although, wait a minute. Was that a... I think that was just a UCAV. Killed some people. I missed that. It's all right, though. What else we have? Alpha Oops, being held by Element. Black, but there's no one there. Yeah, Element's taking his squad to Charlie right now. Um, Napalm. Looks like they might actually be able to burn this. This is I, I like the area that they're coming from. They're getting some slams down in case they get pushed by a vehicle. Element, uh, one of the guys actually that's part of Symphic that does all the work that you guys like. He gets those files, he, he decodes them, and then he puts it up for all you guys so that you can know exactly what's going on what the Deagle does, what it does when you look down the sights, all the stats that you guys love. So give a nice shout out to Element. He is one of the guys that does that. As there are more than just him, but yeah. he is one of the main guys. Good to see him playing today too. That's right, going to NGMO86 in the APC. APC uh, isn't, you know, isn't super aggressive like we saw in previous Battlefield games, but it's really important for defense. And I, I actually, I will say that Thinking about holding this road that he's on right now may be a good idea when the water's up, but when the water's down, it means that you can get flanked with any moment. Oh, this is, I, I, I must say, this is uh, very impressive by, uh, by Cold again. Yeah, uh, because remember guys, this map is a bit uneven. Why is it uneven? Well, let's just take a look. For China, they can get these first three flags, Echo, Delta, and Charlie, all with basically complete protection from uh, attacks, whereas U.S., they have, to, they have to go over these small bridges to Bravo, and they have to go over this small bridge to Charlie. It's simply too much, too much of a space in between to easily get over there. And as such, it's, uh, it's, it, it makes it you know, awfully one-sided. But that being said, since Gold has been able to get Delta and get Echo early up the start. They're able to put all of their fight, all their guys, into this middle area. Yep, and Addy did clear up that push, or is clearing up that push onto Alpha, so it looks like they will probably keep Alpha as there yeah. is one more guy left. But I believe he's spotted. Yeah. But we will see that if if Gold uh, uh, loses Delta, loses sort of one stranglehold, one one uh, fortification of these three points, then they will they will begin to lose really quickly. But going to Napalm Holiday, I like what he's doing. He and the rest of his squad are actually pushing out of Bravo. Look, there is no one at Bravo. Now, who uh, Addy and uh, and Gear Gump and, and Rune could always try to jump down and take the Bravo position, but it's not easy. Ooh. And here comes who's sneaking up on him right now. I'm watching it. Here he comes. Now, who knows Those he may minis. be going around to the right, so he just moves to the right and starts firing at him. Oh, my goodness. I'd be lucky you have him at the oh. same time. Guys, Jaeger, is, that, is this true? Is it really true? Jaeger Gup was able to survive that despite all odds. <laughs> oh, my God. It was great. <laughs> what? Oh, I, oh, my God. It was great. Who, who is mad? I bet he's super mad. Keyboard right now, guys. Possible broken keyboard. And look at this. They're taking Bravo, too, as well. While oh, that my happened. God. That was awesome. And there's not much Addy can do. You know, and this, that, that's the nice thing about Bravo for infantry. There's not much that vehicles can do. It's a very infantry-centric uh, flag. And they're taking Charlie, so a possible quad cap coming here. So a change of tides here, so to speak. No pun intended for this map. Oh, but they are losing Bravo. They need to get back on this burn here. Make sure they don't lose it. Which element is oh, yeah. fighting from the burn. Classic Simpic style right there. Fight from the burn, go down with the ship. Uh oh, Jaeger got taking some damage. Um, am I? Oh yeah, there you go. He's still up though. Uh, let's. I'm gonna go back to uh, is it uh, Strikery? Using that. Uh oh, he died. Never mind. Let's keep on going. Cast to the commentator. What do you? What do you? What do you see? What do you see? 
Uh, I, I just saw Bravo get wiped. Uh, it looks like they're gonna send. Actually, there's a a UCAP flying after that little bird right now. Does not get him, unfortunately. That was who trying to get a little payback. But there is a push coming in to Bravo, so. Uh, the fight from Echo to Delta and the fight from Bravo right now, uh, probably the two best um, avenues for some... And, there, and it looks like Tonka's actually going for a back cap here with, oh, with D Sly 3. He's the only one that's up right now. D Sly 3 is actually on Alpha. On the burn, does get a spawn. So I, 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 I'd hang out with Alpha see if they can't get this right now. This would be huge for them. Yes, uh, Eddie uh, barely dodges what looked like a... A, uh, a small or shrub, but hey, Cole Hagen, Nightwing, they're back. With who? They want blood. They're not gonna get you cabbed again. Oh, look at that! Look at that flying. Oh, look at that flying. That's one. That's one for the uh, stream right there, guys. It was. He said, "Who? You fly through buildings? So do I." So do I. <laughs> As he circles around the uh, the LAV, Nightwing moves away. They're down by 200, 100 feet seconds. You know, they still have a presence on Bravo. They just took Delta. They took Alpha. They are losing it, but they have a spawn beacon there. Uh, you know, it's a possibility that they, they could actually do some work here as their LAB is going to come out and most likely uh, keep Echo clear as he <laughs> doesn't see the guy on there. Rune. Because, uh, that's Whitey. Yeah, and Rune is trying to go for the UCAV shots yet again. No luck. Going back to Night Wayne. I, I, I like the helicopters, guys, because you don't see them that often in a lot of competitive play. That's why I'm showing them off. That is true. That, that, is, that is true. That's go, true. Going after the LAV, but boy, he is getting into UCAV territory. He's got to be careful. The UCAVs may come and hit him. Oh, whoa. God, that was you guys close. hear that? That whistling. That was man. close. That is a scary thing that. when you're flying. I'll tell you that right now. Here he comes. That's not, those are birds, nice guys. Those, those are not UCAVs. The birds. Oh, watch out, though. Yeah. Oh, watch out. Those are birds. That's girl, those are birds that bite, unfortunately. Oh, gosh. I'm that was so you. close. That one. The accuracy of the smalls and straws from these competitive players is just, uh, it's, trust me, it's its really annoying. It is. Take my word for it. And Gayer Gump, Addy, and Rune are back up. Oh, and there comes the straw. Oh, I oil. missed it. I missed That's it. That's what I'm talking about, guys. I was, On watching, Echo. I was watching Jaeger, but I missed it. Sorry, guys. Oh, I'd stay with Jaeger. I think they're going to be able to do some work here on uh, on Delta. As that, that looks like what they're circling. They're trying to back their team up here. Oh, no! Oh, RPG robot. From robot! Robot, RPG, very traditional. But hey, that works. Well played, good sir. I'm going to go to Stryker. He is on Bravo, part of Gold Team. They have to hold, hold this back. While they still have a foothold on Charlie, Delta is no other possession, but and, and there was Echo. They have to hold Charlie. I think they probably get the bleed in their favor, of course. I like the movement here from Strike. I want to go and check out. Delta has a little bit of fight with Gold. Charlie being held. I love this position with Sir Knight. And who is that? What's Rune doing? Rune's just using the UCAV. Uh, hit the tree somehow. <laughs> that was weird. Sometimes things don't go according to plan, guys. No, it don't. does happen. Bleed is still in the favor of gold. I, although I, I will say, look at this. Hey, noise storm, whitey, and 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 others are pushing onto echo. They already have the bleed, but hey, if they can get Echo, the bleed is even more significant. It's, it's a strategy of just being very aggressive, but hey, this this little bird can be aggressive too. As That's Cole Hagen again. It is. Let's go and now, check. Am, am, I, am I correct that Cole Hagen, is it Cole Hagen or Cole Hagen that's the guy from Total Recall, the bad guy. It was Co. It, it was wasn't it Cohagen? Like I, I don't think there was. Was it Cohagen or? or I, think, I don't okay. think, I think it was just Cohagen. C O H A G E N. We're gonna need the chat to tell us, guys. Yeah. Figure that out, please. Yeah. That's, that's we could be old Cohagen. What are you doing? To help us. He's backing up. Ooh, ooh, good dodge on that one stinger, but he does get he does eat that heat seeker. Unfortunate. 
Now, Robot is actually responding with a UKAV. Does not hit Jaeger Gump as, he bees, as he's very aggressive and pushing on up. Here come the Little Bird fights. Little Bird versus Little Bird action. Wow, did he actually oh, jump he, out? he shoots him out. Yeah, he shot Jaeger. Oh, out. that was so close to whoever uh, jumped on out. Almost, almost got a, uh, a mid-air uh, Shrock kill. Yeah, who was that? Oh, he's dead now. I want to say it was, it was probably Wee Wee. It was Wee Wee? I think it was Wee Wee, yeah. Oh, Wee Wee just going ham right now. And for those of you that don't know, Wee Wee is also a guy from level. He's one of the reasons why you can see your, oh! uh, your wow! Twitter messages up here. Now, I, I, so Plumber King just killed Who and, and Nightwing, but I have to think that, the, that there was a UCAV that actually did do some damage to the helicopter prior to it. That was pretty cool. And here comes more with Rune. Rune's going out of this one lone guy. Oh, ends up blowing him up. Who was that who died? That was, uh, what was that telling me? What? Tell me who killed him. Who was this guy? This guy here. Oh, doesn't matter. And it, I, I like this element. It still has still has a presence with the squad here on uh, Bravo. Still trying to get it. Now, now here's here's a, a sign of the demographics of our of our chat. Echo Phantom says Brian Cranston was Cohagen. Huh? <laughs> huh? Right? I know who Brian. I know who Brian is Cranston is. Like? But. Breaking he's not. He's not. He's not. The, he's I not thought he was Malcolm's dad. Wait, no, he was Malcolm's dad. He wasn't Cohagen. He, he was Cohagen in the in the Total Recall remake. No, he was Malcolm's dad. And and Malcolm's, and well, Malcolm's, Malcolm's dad. I don't know what he's talking about. He's crazy. That's Malcolm's dad. That Only remake Malcolm's was terrible, dad. though. The same. I mean, it was really bad. Yeah, agreed. I'm talking about the original guys. Come on, the, the Paul Verhoeven uh, uh, Total Recall movie. Guy, I agree with you. The same guy who did Robocop, right? It's, oh, come on. I think you have the greatest movie in that one. <laughs> oh, that's, it looks that's, like... Let's go, let's go to Who. Who is engaging the the enemy uh, helicopter. Ends up taking out one. But he gone. But will he get... Oh, he almost got hit. He does not, though. 331 to 8 and counting... We will see Gold Team win this, and actually, in terms of tickets, win the map. The map in this respect, three away, seven yeah, zero. Definitely. Good. Both rounds. Good match, though. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm interested to see how uh, how propaganda plays out. As yeah. that is a little more infantry centric, and I feel that these teams, infantry wise, are a little a little more even. Yes. I'm going to go to uh, Mitch K. He is in the UK yet again. I'm going to try to follow in free cam. Where is it going? Oh, Where? huge play here. <laughs> huge play here by Kohagen. He shot both reppers out. There's a possibility that if he gets this guy out of the uh, little bird that he can actually steal it, guys. He does get a vehicle hit. Go in a free cam. And that's oh. it. Guys, if you're just joining us, this is Level BS 32 for 32 Trifecta event, an event on PS4, PC, and Xbox One. This is the PC uh, a version of 32 vs 32. This is on Sunken Dragon Round Two, Conquest Large, two teams, Gold vs Black. We just saw uh, we just saw Team uh, uh, Team Gold win, right? No, we saw we saw Team Black win. Yeah, no. Team Black. We, and how did they win? I'd be lucky using the air burst. If he can actually do a little left turn, he may be able to hit it. Oh, I think he may have a chance here. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Oh, big hit, big hit. Big it's hit. On a 19. He's in trouble. That was cool. Will we see more? Cole Hagen, calm, cool, and collected here, though, guys. Gets a heat seeker out. It's going to get back in cover. I'm, I, you know, I'm not familiar with Cole Hagen, but I'm very impressed with his flying skin. by. 240, I believe, or 230, somewhere 200, around there. 200 and something like that. So it's 240. And then, and, but now they switch sides, lose the side now. Whoa! A mobility hit in favor uh, against who? Against, uh... Oh, hey, you, Kevin, did you see that thing fly right in front of there? I did not. Let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to look right now. Here's one. This is, yeah, I have to be honest. 
as a pilot myself, uh, guys, very good. Very. It, one thing you'll notice about a lot of these guys is, is patience. Uh, they know when to when to fall back. They know when to push, and that that's really what makes the difference when people can take you out so fast oh. uh, with, the, with the skills that they have. Colossal Cloud actually just got run over by um, by an ATV. Oh, you know what he's probably saying? Jive turkey. <laughs> 